Okay, this video is about generating a paraboloid by spinning a tank of water. What I've got is an electric potter's wheel and I've attached to the head a piece of plywood that has a cradle on it to situate a camera on top. But first I'm going to show you from a distance what it looks like without the camera being in place. So you'll watch from the grass as I will. We'll try it first with clear water and then after I'm sure that the tank isn't going to explode off we'll add some food coloring to it just to see some cool designs. But first I'm going to move this setup out into the grass. First run, we want to use three inches of water. My potter's wheel doesn't have a perfectly variable speed. It seems to kind of increase in mild bursts, so in between the speed adjustments I had to wait for the paraboloid to kind of settle in before speeding it up again. For this reason, I'll edit out some of those long stretches of footage here, just so that it doesn't become too tedious to watch. Well, that was interesting. I accidentally pressed the foot pedal the wrong direction and it went to maximum speed. Sorry I didn't catch it on film, but it squirted out of the tops. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. I want to get a lower angle of footage. All right, this time I'll try to get top speed. From two and a half minutes in to around five minutes in, I'm leaving all of the footage here. So this is all one clip. I figured that some of you might be interested to see it at least once in real time, as if you were here watching too. I don't know if this will transfer to camera, but I was really surprised by how smooth the surface of the water became. As I mentioned in the other video, the lid was added to reduce the turbulence in the air, but I didn't expect it to work so well. The parabola look, or, sorry, paraboloid looks just so perfect and otherworldly, and especially in the sunlight, it has an impressive kind of jewel-like beauty to it. For some reason, the whole time that I've been experimenting with this project, I've had a strange urge to try it using plaster of Paris. A potter's wheel will stay cool as a cucumber at speed for the amount of time needed for plaster of Paris to harden, so it would be easy enough, but I started to wonder if I really needed another heavy, useless mathematical curve sitting around my house. Still, it would have been great to roll a marble in it. What can I say? I'm a slave to my impulses.
All right, now it's time for the fun part. I'm going to station you right here so you can ride along with it. And that vastly improves the footage. What I just showed you was, you know, I think less than spectacular, but this way is really cool looking. Let's also do the food coloring thing now because that makes a pretty impressive effect. I started it a bit too fast here, so the red swirl wasn't that spectacular. It also started to become unstable at this point. The next shot was incredible, but it didn't record for some reason. On this last blue one, you can see the tips of the four fingers starting to quiver a bit from the instability as it goes around. This effect builds and its pulses will become more pronounced, which is why I didn't take it all the way to extremis. So, let me show you where the stability problem came from right here. As the weight went around and it shifted its lopsided a bit, it rocked it off of this. I need to do it on something more stable like the patio, but I don't want to today. So maybe we'll try this again. But I would like to try with some sand. Doesn't that sound interesting? Well, I guess I just can't beat the wobble. I tried. Uh, this project is a moderate success, I suppose. I learned some things. I could revise my technique. I would like to do it in the sun to get better image quality, but it sinks in the grass, so... It's a cost-benefit, and right now, I just have to take this information in and consider revising. But before the accusations fly, I want to point out that there is a counterbalance opposite. This is a piece of metal screwed in and it's opposite the camera stand. So I don't want you to think that I didn't address the obvious. There are just all sorts of things going on that prevent me from getting a nice clean rotation. These are not laboratory conditions. I'm just doing the best that I can to make a somewhat interesting video. And so I'm off and I hope that you found this, well, useful in some respect. See you next time.